and let me tell you, it's a strange, almost surreal sensation controlling a game like Melee, where analog inputs are so prevalent and important via button presses. But before we go too in-depth on the controller itself, just who is this thing made for? I mean, why would you give up this, what many of us have been playing Smash on for years, for this? Well, it all started a few years ago when one of the best Fox players in the world, Pax, blew up the tendons in his wrist and developed arthritis in his thumb in his early 20s. And I did, like, the fastest wave shine in the history of this planet, but it was so frame perfect and I had bad form. I felt, I felt an explosion. I felt, like, literally an explosion in my hand. With your hand where the bones rub against yeah, each other? Yeah, they took an MRI. My yeah, bone had no yeah, cartilage. Yeah, dude, The doctor dude. had never seen some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. he was like, you did this from playing a video game? These past few months, it was unbearable. I couldn't play this game for more than like 10 games in a, 10 games in a row and right. then my hand was done. Did it hurt in general too? Like if you were just chilling, like your hand was Yeah. Right no, right. sometimes I'd be playing League of Legends and that would be enough to do it for me. And that right. game's not even like, yeah, not even technical like, like yeah, that. You just, <laughs> uh, yeah, you That's know, the surgery that yeah, I had. that's the surgery, dude. But, um... Despite numerous surgeries, Hax's hand pains from playing Melee persisted. Unable to play, let alone compete in Melee due to ongoing pain from his injuries, he was recruited as a tester by a team developing the Smashbox, a then soon to be released product which they claim to be an ergonomic, that is, designed to be as safe and comfortable to use as possible, alternative to the GameCube controller. One that would allow him and others like him to compete again, pain free. It wasn't. Take a look at this image of someone multi-shining on the Smashbox reveal video. This is an extremely unergonomic posture. Considering I was led to believe this was an ergonomic controller, I actually began to think I had arthritis in these joints as well, and that was what was responsible for the strain. Hacks and the Smashbox team worked together for a while, but after weeks of refusing Hacks' many, many suggestions to adjust the controller's design to make it even the slightest bit of what they claimed it was, dead set on releasing what Hacks considered a scam to the market. They were on the verge of selling a product so poorly made that consumers would have felt scammed within minutes of using it. And having a Smashbox representative threaten to physically assault him, Hacks and the Smashbox team parted ways. Shortly before leaving the Smashbox team, however, Hacks would secretly assemble his own alternative controller team, and a couple years later, re-emerge with what he called the Box complete with his own designs, prioritizing ergonomic integrity, allowing those with similarly destroyed hands to enjoy melee again without hand pains, or just as a comfortable alternative to the GameCube controller. And years later, the Smashbox remains a competitor, equipped with a new design. A design I feel looks familiar somehow. But I digress. Let's talk about the box itself. 